A record number of Californians are out of work. California's unemployment rate has now topped 11 percent. The jobless rate jumped to 12.2 percent. We're not just going through tough economic times in California. We are destroying jobs. And by the way, I know how to create jobs. The facts are you laid off more than 30,000 American workers. Carly is a job destroyer, not a job creator. I lost about 50 percent of my retirement nest egg by following and believing in what she was saying. And many of those jobs went to India and China. I want to ask Carly whether employment was ever a goal. After 21 years and 18 months shy of retirement, I was laid off. She said, I only regret I hadn't fired more people faster. I would say that the layoff was very hard. We've gone from two cars in the driveway to, you know, and all the things that you would need, the American dream. And now we're trying to remodify our loan, working with the bank. We've gone through bankruptcy. And as a matter of fact, now we're on food stamps. It was outrageous that at the time she's laying off tens of thousands of Americans to save money. She's spending multi-million dollars on a new Gulf Stream and the other extravagances for her own personal enjoyment and wealth. When her chauffeur-driven limousine brought her to our building, it was clear that the chauffeur was armed. So uh, right from the get-go, there was something different here. Whatever money she could take out of it for her private jet or to further her career is how she was going to use the company. None of the workers really mattered except as tools to further her own personal gain. She left with a $45 million golden parachute while 20,000 of her employees were laid off. It's a company that she almost completely destroyed and she walks away with millions. I do not know how CEOs get so much money when they're doing a bad job. None of us would get rewarded, and she should not have been rewarded either. I really resented Carly Fiorina and what she had done, intentionally shipping jobs, U.S. jobs, to India and to China. HP is happy people, and it's the uh, best place to work. When she means compete globally, she means whoever has the lowest wages, that's where the jobs are going to go. It's all about the money. HP is the best company you can ever work. Thank you. This is the 21st century. Any job can go anywhere. She needs to get in the trenches and listen to the people that are hurting, that are being affected by these jobs that were offshore. I'm one of thousands. California, here she comes, Carly Fiorino. I think it's quite helpful to have someone in the U.S. Senate who actually knows where jobs come from. When she talks about job creation, it falls on deaf ears for me. After what I've been through, and others too, who's she trying to kid here? Regardless of what she says, I look at her track record. You laid off more than 30,000 American workers. She said, I only regret I hadn't fired more people faster. I will run on that record all day long. She's trying to buy the U.S. Senate with ill-gotten money, with money on the backs of tens of thousands of laid-off Americans. Carly's destroyed tens of thousands of careers. If you look at what she's done with HP, that is her legacy. I think she could do even more damage, and this time at the expense of the taxpayers. Be afraid, be very afraid.